Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome back. Good to talk to all of you again today. And today I have a very work in progress version uh, of Task Force Admiral, a game currently being developed by Dry Dock Dreams Games. And they're working with, I believe the publisher is Microprose. And for those of you, obviously, who've played PC War Games, that should be a relatively familiar name. Anyways, um, hopefully in this video, what I'll do is I will get in there and I'll start to kind of give you a sense of what I think the developers here are trying to accomplish. And maybe just maybe by the end of it all, you'll feel a degree of optimism for future incoming naval games. All right. So uh, for now, of course, uh, do keep in mind that this is more of a, a demonstration. It's more of a demo. There's going to be some things that you can interact with in the game for now. Um, but there's still a lot of things that are obviously still in development, not fully polished yet. So, you know, some of the stuff, if you think, oh, it's a little bit clunky, you know, again, if I'm going to slap a bunch of work in progress labels, hopefully uh, that will be uh, <laughs> indicative of where this game is currently. Okay, so you start off here um, and not much to do in this area. I mean, it's just a very nice environment, um, beautifully modeled, by the way. Um, see, these days, every single time I look at a, a video game of ship and, uh, you know, the, one of the first things I notice is I, I start looking at, like, the structure and I go, ooh, pretty. <laughs> uh, that's bad. Anyways, um, so, you know, the only real interactable sort of uh, place here is currently this map. Um, now, this is what is called the strategic map. And this really just kind of displays uh, where your forces are, where the enemy forces are on sort of, I guess, uh, strategic level. You know, you kind of see things. In rough, there's not much detail. There's like, you know, there's an island there, island, island, you know, uh, your aircraft going over there, this attacking aircraft. These are your fighters and your ship is indicated by, or your whole fleet essentially is indicated by this one icon. But of course, we're able to go a step further. Now, I think, um, you know, if this game was to go live, you would probably be able to kind of uh, zoom in and then you would transition between the strategic to the tactical to the actual real world view. So, Showing you the tactical view for a second. This is the tactical view. This is where you see representations of individual ships and aircraft. Uh, but of course, this is still just sort of icons and stuff like that. A nice way to look at things. Um, but of course, you know, what we're all here for is being able to zoom right in like this and see ships in the world view. Now, immediately, um, <laughs> you should be able to tell that the developer here has put some real time and effort into modeling all the ships, so much so that I can actually tell you, because I've had a chance to already peek at this. <laughs> um, if you actually look carefully, for example, uh, this is the USS Enterprise. And if you actually look at the bridge area here, you'll actually notice that it is going to be different between the Enterprise and her sister ship, the Hornet here. So they've even put in um, the effort to, I think, differentiate individual ships um, based on the differences that they had in real life, which is really, really cool because we all know the, um, you know, company that loves to just copy paste ships, you know, I think it was uh, Latorio, I think that was just a straight copy of Roma. Yeah, I think we all remember that. Um, <laughs> but no such case here, um, you know, ships are actually realistically modeled, which I think is really cool. Now, on top of that, here, here here's where um, things win points with me right away. Check that out. There's the propellers. And yep, you can see propeller wake. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a real win for me right there. Um, also, you can actually see very, very nicely uh, generated wave patterns. That's very, very, very nice to see in a video game. Yeah, okay, enough me nerding out about that side of things. Um, they've also modeled some nice American destroyers here. Again, you can see it very, very nicely done. And of course, we've got the New Orleans. Beautiful. Now, um, you we're also able to, and uh, I think there is some things here currently that, yeah, so normally there would also be additional cameras that you can uh, select that will allow you to essentially, um, you know, go to predefined areas on the ship. So you'd be able to be on like the bridge wing here or something like that um, to be able to just kind of look out from there. And that can generate some really cool views, right? 
Now, in this current game, we are in what is essentially a God's eye point of view because we can see where our fleet is, we can see where the enemy is, we can see that stuff is happening, right? So what we'll do first, I think, is I'll show you um, the air combat aspect of it. And the air combat, the way that they've done it is um, you're essentially going to be, I think, the commander. And, you know, when you send your pilots out, they're going to do pilot stuff, but you're not going to be the one doing that because then you wouldn't be an admiral, you'd be a pilot. And that's, yeah, they're trying to allow you to maintain sort of the command element of it. But let's take a look at what's going on. Now, let me go to find the squadron here. This, like I said, is still a bit clunky. Um, it's not fully, I think, fleshed out yet. And it is a little convoluted to get this right. But in the future, I do believe they'll get this right. So, and it'll be easier to um, kind of jump to things, right? It would be really easy to just to be able to click on a, like the aircraft like right there and then just go in right away. But for now, I don't have that, which is a tiny bit of a shame. And I got to find the right squadron here. That's not the right one. I'm still looking. <laughs> Maybe it's, uh, nope. Is it this one? Nope. Okay, still looking. Yeah, a little bit clunky. Not that one either. Uh oh, I think the other one might already be got this one here. All right, let's go back to world view. So this two plane patrol is basically going to be running into a bunch of Japanese attack aircraft right there. So that's going to be the dive bombers and the torpedo bombers from the uh, enemy fleet that's coming here. So let's watch a bit of the air combat aspect of it. Whoa. Love the sound. You can definitely hear that there is a quite beautiful sound design here. Kind of hear where all the uh, aircraft are. Okay. This one fighter is being shot up by... Oh, there's a zero on, on his tail. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, is he still alive? He's still alive. Barely. Okay. So, wonder if he's going to be able to uh, shoot down anything or whether he's going to get killed first here. Oh, this is going to be rough. But as you can see right now, um, ooh, um, I will not be in command of the fighter, which makes sense if I'm the admiral. Um, ooh, I think he's, I think this guy's in trouble. Yeah, he's in trouble. Oh, yeah, he's getting absolutely crapped on by all these fighters. Oh, wait, is he? Oh, he's still alive. Taking lots of hits, though. Oh, that's not fun. That cannot be fun for him. <laughs> All right, let, let's see if we can find another aircraft that's doing maybe a little bit better. That's uh, maybe getting in on the action with the bombers here. Because this poor chap is uh, drawing all the attention of the fighter. Actually, he went into the clouds, and I think the fighter might have lost him. Oh, yeah. So the weather, and I, and I should tell you guys about this as well. The weather is dynamic. So, you know, um, you will see, and hey, hold on a second here. I don't want to go back to the map view because that will just ruin it. But there is um, weather. You'll be able to see where wind is. You'll see where um, cloud is, things like that. Which, you know, obviously, if you were in command of an aircraft carrier, if you wanted to launch your aircraft, remember, you got to sail into the wind. So that in, you know, a tactical uh, sense will impact what you do, right? It wouldn't just be able to launch aircraft in any position. You'd have to move yourself into specific kinds of positions. Okay, so, well, still getting chased by the Zero there. Oh, okay, apparently Zero found him again. So this guy's not really doing much uh, shooting at bombers here, so let's go find a friend of his and maybe we'll see. Yikes, a couple guys are dead already. How about this guy? Um, hmm, oh. Well, he's a bit further back and t also tangling with the Japanese fighters here. Oh, something got shot down right there. I don't know what got shot down there. All right, let's see if we can find... Is he fi oh, here we go. All right, get him. <laughs> so, of course, you know, like there could be some interface improvements for sure, but I'm assuming that uh, that will be coming eventually. Okay, come on. Oh. Was there a fighter behind him? 
Why did he disengage from that? Huh, I didn't see a fighter behind him at all, and uh, he just kind of gave up on that bomber there, but I guess he's gonna go after another one here. Oh no, maybe it's- no? I, I, honestly, sometimes I'm not really sure why the AI pilots do certain things. They're AI pilots, you know, they got their own thing going on. Um, yeah, I think maybe he was taking fire from the rear gunners, maybe that's why. So that's why he kind of broke off. Okay, can we find someone else who's- oh, actually he's- nope, this chap has run out of ammo, that's why. Okay, never mind. That's why he'd run out of ammo. Okay. Is there another? I gotta look for one. I gotta look for one that's hanging with the bombers. Oh, that guy just shot down somebody, I think. Oh, yep. You can see Japanese planes falling out of the sky. So this is the sort of the, I guess, air combat component of um, the game. The bombers, obviously, they have to press the attack, so they've got to keep going. Um, and let's see how far they are away from the fleet. They're still a distance away. They're obviously, there we go. The, I believe these are the enemy fighters tangling with your fighters. And you've definitely got a couple of fighters over here that is, uh, engaging bombers. So that is very nice to see. Here we go. Your fighters are chasing down these bombers again. Another one goes down there. That is so satisfying to see. <laughs> that is so satisfying to see. Oh boy. Now you can also, um, in the current sort of god point of view you can also see what it's like um as uh, one of these uh, bomber aircraft as well um they're trying to press the attack but I'll, I'll change the camera as they get a little bit closer to the ship for now they're just getting kind of chewed up by some of these fighters here which is nice come on somebody else gonna get shot down here <laughs> and sometimes it's hard to find the specific fighter that's gonna do the one you know kill thing they'll up close so you can actually see it Let's see if this one goes for... That's a zero chasing uh, Wildcat. Oh, here we go. There we go. Very nice. There we go. That's it. That's what we want to see. Very nice. Okay. And then... And then this Wildcat just peeled off again. Well, you know, AI pilots doing AI pilots things. <laughs> All right. So now let's go back to the tactical map real quick, um, because what I do want to show you is um, what happens as the enemy begins to approach closer and then your surface ships have to start to engage. So let's take a look at that. As you can see right now, uh, surface uh, vessels are still not engaged in any kind of defensive action, but they will soon. And there is a way to speed this up. So as you can see there, if I go to time scale five, um, I can speed up time and at a certain point in time, when the enemy gets close enough, um, I do believe we will watch. Hang on a second here. Are they getting any closer? Let's see here. <laughs> God point of view. No, not yet. Okay, let's uh, speed up time a little bit more. Because, um, oop, time skill five. Yep. There's 10. Okay. Still trying to get these. Uh, oh, here we go. Something just happened. A turn has been ordered. Okay. Let's see here. Where are they? Oh, wow. Enemy's still a good distance away. Oh, let's see here. Maybe something's happening over here. Yep. Getting there. Getting there. Oh, there we go. You can see the guns on the vessels have uh, turned. And what you will see is the, um, like the five inch guns start engaging first. And then as the enemy gets closer, you start to hear uh, the small caliber machine guns going off. So, okay. The anticipation of, there you go. There's the five inch guns going and they're gonna start engaging targets. Yep, and the whole fleet is gonna start opening up here. And the enemy are really gonna try to press their attack here. And you can see there's the five inch guns going. And then as they get closer, we will hear the small caliber guns. I'm just kind of waiting to see. Let's kind of give you a sense of when that happens. The visual spectacle, I think, at the time, um, during the sort of when the uh, A starts going off is quite intense. Oh, there we go. You can hear it. There's the small guns going off now. There we go. All right. Now, let me, let me back up a little bit so you can kind of see this on a larger scale here. I'm going to stop tracking that vessel. 
There you go. You can start to see the destroyer at the very, very edge of the screen is going to start opening up here. And then... Then the bigger cruisers are going to start opening up as well. Yep, you can, see, you can hear that. There's the cruiser start going. Start filling the sky up with AA here. And... Uh, the enemy bombers, they're going to press their attack here. Let's see if I can... Uh, See if I can maybe find a... Uh, there we go. There is a... There is a Japanese torpedo bomber. Pressing the attack through all the anti-air fire that's coming up here. And of course, we know who they're really going to go for. They're going to try to go for um, the carriers. Now, one really cool element um, about these is that they don't attack on a single vector. So, you know, the, the torpedo bombers don't just come in. Oh, oh, this one's getting chewed to pieces here. Oh, still alive? Let's see. Right, so they will actually try to um, do hammer and anvil type attacks. They'll try cross dropping, um, you know, from different directions against the carrier. So this is going for one of the carriers there. Let's see here. Let's see what's going on. You can see some vicious AA fire going up. There it goes. The torpedo's in the water. Where is it? There it goes. There's a the torpedo. You can see there's, there's torpedoes over there as well. Oh. Okay, there we go. Torpedoes coming in. Come on, Enterprise. <laughs> Alright, so th th there is the torpedoes. She I think she's going to dodge these ones okay. But don't forget, the dive bombers are coming in as well. Oh, there's the dive bombers. Oh, no. Oh, she's taking hits. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Yep, and you can see the the torpedo. You see this torpedo coming from a different direction as well. Oh, you, Hornet's being attacked as well. Oh, she just ate a torpedo right there. Oof. Japanese are having some uh, luck with this attack for sure. And you can definitely see the atmosphere here is incredible. Like, look at the amount of anti-air that is just littering the sky. It is... It is a visual spectacle. Oh no. Oh no. Is Enterprise going to turn into those torpedoes that Hornet just avoided? Oh no. I think I think Enterprise is going to eat another torpedo here. Oh, so the one that Hornet avoided, Enterprise just took that. Yikes. No, that's not good. So, well, I guess oh, there comes the dive bombers again. Okay, Hornet has survived that. Oh, that one's close. That one was very, very close. So while this, you know, while the American fleet here fights for its life, um, and you can definitely see what that will look like from the tactical map, um, obviously the American strike is also heading over to the other side, and let's see what's happening over here. Okay, so here's an SBD. There is the Japanese fleet down below. And looks like nothing here has been hit yet. None of the flat tops here are burning, at least nothing that I can see. Yep, none of the Japanese flat tops have been hit yet. Let's take a look down here. Yeah, they're still okay. Still doing all right here, I think. Let's take a look at this one here. Zukaku's okay, Shokaku's okay. All right, so... Let's take a look at the... Wow, the poor torpedo bombers. They've just been... They have had not a good day here. You can see that all dead. Still a couple flying here. Yep, it looks like they weren't super effective. All right, let's see here. Uh, dive bombers are still flying, but they're nowhere near... They're nowhere near... Wow, there's another. Let's see here. Okay, this looks like the next wave of dive bombers here. There's still, looks like a, quite a sizable number here. The, yep, they are being attacked by fighters. And, but they look like they're on track here for the... They look like they're in the... They're, they're heading the right way, it seems like, for the two carriers here. So let's see what happens when they go there. Uh-oh, I lost my... I lost my... 
Oh, wait, nope. Okay, I lost my focus on those ones, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to get them back here. All right, here we go. Okay, so our attack has officially, obviously, uh, started. It's been uh, relatively abysmal for the uh, torpedo planes. They don't really seem to have accomplished much, and most of them are dead. Not great. Yep. So maybe once again, the uh, dive farmers are going to be the ones to save the day here. So let's see here. Um, oh, some of them are starting to go, I believe. Here we go. Dive breaks open. And this is where you get some pretty cool views, right? So you get the chase view here. But you also get this view. This is a wicked view. Here we go. We're going. We're going. There's been a couple misses already. More misses there. Come on. Press. Oh, a hit there. Hit, hit, hit. Oh, I wonder if I wonder if that one hit or not. Oh, there's been some glorious hits there. Another hit. Beautiful. Oh, she is a wreck now. Another hit. Oh, look at that. And and you see, this is the beautiful thing about this game is that these planes are essentially AI controlled and, you know, they're going to make mistakes like kind of real pilots would, right? They, they don't always hit the target, but oh yeah. That is very nice to see. That is Shokaku and she is, oh, she is burning. V wow, how many bomb hits is that? One, two, three, four, five, six hits maybe? I uh, She's just a burning hulk at this rate. Uh, looks like Zuikaku isn't doing much better either. She's taking a hit. Let's, well, let's see. Yeah, she's getting pummeled here as well. Multiple hits on this one as well. Oh, she is not having a good day. Fantastic. Let's see, I wonder if there's anybody else to take a look at here. Uh, let's take a look here. Any other ships? Oh, we can take a look at the uh, heavy cruiser. Oh! <laughs> is that what I... Did, the, did someone just go full kamikaze onto that one? <laughs> oh, that didn't blow up, but hey, hey, that, 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 that pilot went, went full kamikaze. He like hit the side of the ship and, uh, I think I saw the, the, the I think I saw him bounce off the side. <laughs> uh, okay. That, that was unexpected. Wow. That was Totally unexpected. I did not expect to see that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, like, unexpected stuff happens, which is pretty damn awesome. I mean, real war isn't clean and crisp. It's... St stuff happens, and that's actually pretty interesting to have seen, actually. I like that. Uh, let's see who else do we take a look at here. Um, there's the heavy cruiser Miyoko. She's doing what she can, I guess, in terms of anti-air. Yep. All right, let's see here. Any other aircraft that is still going to attack here? So it looks like a bunch are heading away, heading home. Um, they're done their attack here. I wonder if there's still... I wonder if there's still planes. Uh, there are still some aircraft here. I think these are, I, th I wonder if these, I think these are fighters. They look like they're fighters because they look like they're fighting with enemy fighters. So, looks like the attack wave might be done and they're heading home. And so let's take a look at what's happening on the other side. Let's take a look back at the Enterprise. Wait. Wow. Are her fires out? Wait. Whoa. Well, she's not really moving very quickly, so I'd assume that maybe she's taken other kinds of damage that's causing her to... Huh. Well, they, they, they seem to fix that damage very quickly, unless it was kind of superficial. Or maybe it's just not rendering. Um, again, early stages of the game still, so I, I'd expect things to happen, but you can definitely see 
leaking oil here. So that's an indication that torpedoes have been taken, um, which Hornet, I believe, did take one earlier. Enterprise is also leaking fuel, so that's another nice effect to see that they've actually... Uh, that's actually very obvious. Like, if you look at that... Wow, that's... Uh, yeah, you can see it at, at like at a wow. Yeah, I can see it right. That that oil slick. Be hard for that ship to escape if it keeps leaking oil. It'd be easier just for someone to be able to follow that all the way back. I'm not sure if they managed to put the fires out already. That if that's so, that's some very efficient damage control. But uh, yeah. So hopefully, I mean, you know, if you if you start to think about this game, right? Um, and obviously, like I said, right now this is more of a demo, and you know, the scenario is kind of. Um, already kind of set, you're really just seeing kind of how everything interacts. But I would assume that later on, imagine you were playing this game, but you didn't have uh, this sort of, you know, God's eye view. What if you didn't know where the enemy task force is, and you'd have to go scout them and have to make decisions based on, you know, maybe incomplete information and whatnot, right? Um, you know, things wouldn't be so clear and uh, easy to see things it will get a lot more complicated a lot more uncertain and you'd have to make decisions based on that right um also from what i have uh, read from what the developers have talked about um there's going to be set missions that are missions that are already sort of um designed uh, you know to replicate historical missions but then there are also missions that are uh, missions that you're able to essentially design yourself in a mission editor which i think you know, the mission editor, I think, is really going to make this game special because it's the ability to, um, you know, create scenarios that you want to play out and see how that could go, right? Um, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Now, on top of that, um, you can see that the, like, the, the, the engine is amazingly nice. Um, nice rendering of waves. Look at the islands, by the way. I'm going to take you to the islands here. Look at that. Like... That is beautifully nice. And the weather, the clouds. Oh, and I should show that because I said I was going to show that earlier. You can also see sort of wind, weather, see it? And that is actually very useful because, you know, if you have to turn your carrier into the wind, you'd have to go a certain way, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get your aircraft off your decks. So, anyways... I mean, that's the current state of um, what Task Force Admiral is all about. Hopefully you'll get, you, you, or you have gotten a sense of, um, you know, where they're going with this game. And hopefully you're just a little bit excited because, honest, we really need, I think we really need just new blood in the naval, you know, game genre. Because it's kind of sad that, you know, till this day, we... We're, we're really lacking the good stuff, you know? Um, and so games like this give me some real hope um, that good things are coming, right? So, you know, of course, uh, check out the uh, developer's website, you know, Google Task Force Admiral, you know, add them to your wish list on Steam, do that kind of stuff. Um, if uh, you want to, you know, get your hands on this game the minute it actually releases. So, yeah. Hope that's been a cool little look into Task Force Admiral. Let me know what you all think in the comment section below. Let me know if you're excited about this as much as I am. And of course, uh, you know, talk to all of you again next time.